refractory land larger than the current Gladstone site was bought from the Lord of Longton Manor by two brothers, Thomas and Michael Shelley, who operated two factories jointly. They produced creamware, the typical pottery's product of that time. In 1815 the site split and the Gladstone portion had a house, small workshops and one bottle oven, maintaining a separate history from that point. It had one owner until 1857, but was let out to a succession of tenants who made bone china in step with the trend of that time. For this change it expanded from a small one oven works dependent on other factories to a self-contained three oven factory. An entrepreneurial tenant, later owner, Thomas Cooper expanded the workshops in the 1850s, and built an imposing main road frontage in their classical style. This replaced the old-fashioned master's house, providing warehouse space and a main street frontage for which could generate rental income from smaller retail businesses. The boundaries of the historic factory were established. Gladstone Potteries Museum is based in Longton, Stoke-on-Trent. Please check the link in the description. Thank you for watching.